Tough scenes to watch on the Great Miami River this evening as crews pulled a boy's body from the water. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tori McGee. Now, we followed this story as, as breaking news at 6 o'clock when we told you that this all started around 540 this afternoon on West Riverview, Riverview Avenue and West Monument Avenue near downtown Dayton. And that's where we have News Center 7's Brandon Lewis live tonight. And Brandon, a, a lot of people want to know if this is 7-year-old Lucas Rosales. Tori, we don't know yet. Police said they are not ready to release the boy's identity. This is just a difficult situation all around for that boy's loved ones and for the people who had to respond here earlier this evening. Brandon O'Neill was fishing with family Saturday when all of a sudden he noticed a big police presence. I look up and I see everybody looking inside the river over here. So next thing I see is the police officer. He stops, he looks, he actually jumps in and then, uh, then he looks away and I, I believe he saw the child down there. Elaine Smith was also there when this happened. I just seen a bunch of ambulances and then I seen a body or something stuck in that little ravine right there where they at. And then they, they came and pulled it out. Dayton police confirmed what Brandon and Elaine saw to be true. Sky 7 showed the scene after crews pulled a boy's body from the water. Dayton police say they think the boy is between six and nine years old. This comes two weeks since seven-year-old Lucas Rosales went missing at Eastwood Metro Park. The park is roughly five miles away. We cannot confirm that it is uh, Lucas. The Rosales family has been notified because of the extenuating circumstances with the length of his disappearance. We saw Lucas's family on scene as people watched everything play out. Lieutenant Thomas said clergy was there to speak with anyone impacted by this. Of all of the calls, police officers go to. Those involving children are the toughest. And our officers, from the moment that we received the phone call to today, have tirelessly worked to try to find Lucas. We still continue that effort today. Now to this scene, retrieving a child from the river is a very difficult situation. And police don't know just yet when they'll be able to release that boy's identity. But when they do, we will let you know both on air and online. We're live in Dayton tonight. Brandon Lewis, News Center 7.